Question number four says a bag of sugar weighs six pounds on Earth. What would it weigh in newtons on the moon where the free fall acceleration is one-sixth that on Earth? Okay, so the first thing we have to do is um, fly to the moon. No, actually, the first thing we have to do is convert the six pounds into kilograms. And so um, one kilogram is roughly 2.2 pounds. So if we multiply that by the 6 pounds that we have, we can cancel out the pounds, and we'll get 6 over 2.2 kilograms. This is roughly equal to 2.72, and that will repeat forever. Um, but we'll say 2.72 for simplicity, and that's kilograms. So we got the mass. And we want to know uh, what it's going to weigh in newtons, so that we want to know the force. So we got the mass, and we got the acceleration also, because we know that on Earth, it's 9.8 meters per second squared, and on the Moon, they're telling us that it's one sixth of that on Earth. So we'd say 9.8 divided by six is our, uh, and that's meters per second squared, is our acceleration on the Moon. And so we would simply use force in newtons equals mass, 2.72 kilograms, times acceleration, 9.8 over 6 meters per second squared. So that's roughly equal to, um, the force is roughly equal to 4.44, 4.45, we'll say just 4.4 .4 newtons. And uh, that's for the moon. Then it says repeat for Jupiter, where G is 2.64 times that on Earth. So we have the same mass. All we have to do is scratch that out and replace it with 9.8 times 2.64. So now 2.72 times 9.8 times 2.64. So just so you understand what I'm doing, I'm resetting this problem up with the new acceleration due to Jupiter's gravity. So where force equals ma, we can replace ma, and we can say force equals 2.72, that didn't change, the, the mass doesn't change, times 9.8, instead of dividing it by 6 this time, because it's not 1 sixth anymore, we're going to times it because it's, it's 2.64 times the, the gravity on Earth. So that should give you the answer of, um, of the, ma of the uh, force in newtons on Jupiter. And the answer is roughly force equals 70 point, we'll say 37 newtons. Now the last part of this question is really easy. Uh, it says find the mass of the bag of sugar in kilograms at each of the three locations. Okay, so the mass doesn't change. Weight changes, mass doesn't change. So if we decided that it was 2.72 2.72 kilograms on Earth, it will continue being 2.72 kilograms on the Moon and on Jupiter. Because, check this out, weight, weight is defined as uh, force due to gravity, force, force from, from G. Mass is defined as the ability to resist a change in velocity. So, resist change. Its ability to resist change is the same regardless of the force being put on it. So, the, the mass on Earth is going to be 2.72 kilograms. The mass on the Moon will be 2.72 kilograms. And the mass on Jupiter will also be 2.72 kilograms. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.